Hi boys and girls, it's Mrs. Bender here to share a story with you. Today's story is the epilogue to a story I know you already know. Think of the nursery rhyme, Humpty Dumpty. Whatever happened to Humpty Dumpty after that fall? Well, today we're going to find out in Dance and Tats After the Fall, How Humpty Dumpty Got Back Up Again. Are you ready? Here we go. After the fall. My name is Humpty Dumpty. This was my favorite spot high up on the wall. I know it's an odd place for an egg to be, but I loved being close to the birds. Then one day I fell. I'm sort of famous for that part. Folks called it the Great Fall, which sounds a little grand. It was just an accident. Fortunately, all the king's men managed to put me back together. Well, most of me. There were some parts that couldn't be healed with bandages and glue. After that day, I became afraid of heights. I was so scared that it kept me from enjoying some of my favorite things. I walked past the wall every day and I would think about climbing that ladder again. I really missed the birds and being high above the city, but I could never do it. I eventually settled for watching the birds from the ground. It wasn't the same, but it was better than nothing. Then one day, an idea flew by. Making planes was harder than I thought. It was easy to get cuts and scratches. But Day after day, I kept trying and trying. Sounds like he was persevering. Until I got it just right. My plane was perfect. And it flew like nothing could stop it. I hadn't felt that happy in a long time. It wasn't the same as being up in the sky with the birds, but it was close enough. Unfortunately, accidents happen. They always do. I almost walked away again. But then I thought about all the time I spent working on my plane and all the other things I'd missed. I decided I was going to climb that wall. But the higher I got, the more nervous I felt. I didn't want to admit it. I was terrified. I didn't look up, I didn't look down, I just kept climbing one step at a time until I was no longer afraid. Woo! He did it. Maybe now you won't think of me as the egg who is famous for falling. Hopefully, you'll remember me as the egg who got back up. <gasps> Look at those wings. And learned how to fly. Because life begins when you get back up. Well, now... That's the end of the story, but I have some questions for you. 
What were some of the things Humpty missed most about sitting on the wall? Right. The birds. And he missed looking over the city. Let's try this one. What was Humpty Dumpty's new hobby? Good. Making and flying paper airplanes. Let's do another one. What happened to Humpty Dumpty's paper airplane? Remember? It landed on the wall. And that's where he got his idea to get back up. So what did the author mean when he says, life begins when you get back up? Think about that one. Life begins when you get back up. Humpty Dumpty was so afraid of heights after his fall that he was not really enjoying his life. He had to overcome his fear to live again as he was meant to be. What was he meant to be? What do you think Humpty Dumpty loved? Well, I'm sorry. Why do you think Humpty Dumpty loved watching the birds and flying paper airplanes? I was along with my last thought. What was he meant to be? He was an egg that needed to be hatched into a bird. Great work. Well, I hope you enjoyed tonight's story. And until next time, remember, life begins when you get back up. See you soon.